Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour. So for today, I'm going to be doing all of Marcus's books. So this is technically like bookshelf tour part one. And we're going to go through his four shelves of books. And I'm going to show you guys each book he has on all of his shelves. So you'll get to see all of his books. You'll get to know a little bit more about Marcus because you get to see what kind of books he likes to read. Um, not all the books on these shelves are read yet. Some of these are, I mean, a lot of these are not read, but that's just because the two of us like to collect books and buy things before we know if they're good or not. So yeah, we're going to do this one for Marcus's books. And then eventually I'll have another bookshelf tour video with all of my shelves. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, definitely let us know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books that we show you today and what you thought about them. Okay, so here is the shelves that we're going to give you an overview of. So we're going to start at the top and that's all middle grade. And then over here is his Japanese shelf. And then this shelf here in the middle that's going down is adult fantasy. So is this one right here. This is also adult fantasy with a little section on the bottom for horror. And then over here we start into YA fantasy. Going down this whole shelf. And then we jump over here to the top part is YA fantasy. Then this shelf is like people with powers. And then we go down to sci-fi and then sci-fi dystopian. And then the bottom is just books that <laughs> Marcus didn't know where to put them. So this is like the misfit shelf. Okay, so we're gonna be starting with the middle grade books. And also this is like the shelf that Marcus read these books when he was younger. Not all of them, but some of them. So yeah, we're gonna start here and go along the top. So first off, before we start, we have this lovely pillow here that Marcus's mom gave us for Christmas. We have these, we have another one over that way, which you'll see shortly. These kind of decorate our bookshelf and show off our love for books in pillow format. First up, we have the first four books of the Septimus Heap series by Angie Sage. So that's Magic, Flight, Physic, and Quest. Then we have the first two books in the Morgan Crow series, which is Nevermoor and Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend. Next up, we have the first four books in the School for Good and Evil by Saman Chinani and the Ever Never Handbook to go with them. The Epic Crush of Jeannie Lowe by F.C. Yee. The Summoner Trilogy, The Novice, The Inquisition, and The Battle Mage, as well as The Summoner's Handbook by Taryn Matharu. The Beyonder series, A World Without Heroes, Seeds of Rebellion, and Chasing the Prophecy by Brandon Mull. First four books in the Keepers of the Lost series, so Keepers of the Lost Cities, Keepers of the Lost Cities Exile, Everblaze, Never Seen, and then Keepers of the Lost City, Lodestar, which is book five, and Keepers of the Lost City, Legacy, which is book eight, all by Shannon Messenger. Alcatraz versus the Evil Librarians by Brandon Sanderson. The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel. So we have The Alchemist, The Magician, The Sorceress, The Necromancer, The Warlock, and The Enchantress by Michael Scott. That's what she said. Pendragon series, book one, Merchant of Death, book two, The Lost City of Far, book three, The Never War, book four, The Reality Bug. This book right here is actually the book that got Marcus into reading, so that's exciting. Book five, Black Water, book six, The Rivers of Zada, book seven, The Quillian Games, book eight, The Pilgrims of Rain, book nine, Raven Rise, and book ten, The Soldiers of Hala by DJ McHale. The full collection of his Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. Then we have his Japan shelf. So first of all, over here, the pillow over here says, go away, I'm reading. This is our other decorative pillow that we have on top. Japan travel book, which I actually got him as a gift when we first started dating because he really wants to go to Japan. Uh, this Shonen Jump edition was given to him by his friend Phil and it's actually from Japan. And then these are all the other Shonen Jump books that he wanted on this shelf. He has a lot more, but these are the ones that we just have up here. Then he has two official character books for Bleach. Um, this is the little cat that he got in Thailand. And then you have Avatar The Rise of Kyoshi, as well as 
Avatar The Shadow of Kyoshi. And then he has this giant <laughs> Legend of Korra book that his friend Phil also got him. Next up, we have the Brandon Sanderson shelf. He has a decorative dragon egg, which he got here. Arcanum Unbounded, the Cosmere Collection. And this is by Brandon Sanderson. Assigned 10th anniversary of Elantris. The first Mistborn trilogy, so The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages. The next few books in the next Mistborn series, so we have The Alloy of Law, Shadows of Self, and The Bands of Mourning. Warbreaker, books one and two of the Stormlight Archive, The Way of Kings, and Words of Radiance. And books three and four, Oathbringer and Rhythm of War. Moving down to the next shelf, we have some of his favorites on here. Uh, we have a signed book plate for Marcus from Peter V. Brett. Another signed book plate that I got for him for his birthday by Peter V. Brett. We got a signed bookmark by Jay Kristoff that I got him for his birthday. There is also a signed bookmark up here in the book. <laughs> and then he has his little um, Roman helmet as a decorative element on this shelf. First up, we have three different novellas for the Demon Cycle. So the first one is an advanced reader's copy, and this actually has two different novellas in it. The Great Bazaar and Brain's Gold. Then we have Messenger's Legacy and Baron. So he has three different versions of this book because this is actually the book that made him fall in love with reading. So we have the original one that he had, which is the mass market version of The Warded Man. Then we have the special illustrated edition, and this is The Painted Man because it's called a different name in different countries for this book. And then the regular hardcover edition of The Warded Man. Continuing on with the series, we have The Desert Spear, The Daylight War, The Skull Throne, and then the last one he has in this series, The Core. So this is the book jacket, and this is what it looks like underneath the dust jacket. Signed first editions of Nevernight, God's Grave, and Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. Next up is the Brent Weeks and Brian McClellan shelf. We have Night Angel, The Complete Trilogy by Brent Weeks, The Black Prism, The Blinding Knife, and The Broken Eye. Sorry, I changed the lighting a bit because we're getting a little bit of glare, but this is book four and five. So The Blood Mirror and The Burning White by Brent Weeks. The Powder Mage Trilogy by Brian McClellan. So Promise of Blood, The Crimson Campaign, and The Autumn Republic. The Gods of Blood and Powder Trilogy, Sins of Empire, Wrath of Empire, and Blood of Empire. Moving down to the next shelf, we have Race the Sands by Sarah Beth Durst. The Queens of Renthia series, so The Queen of Blood, the Reluctant Queen, The Queen of Sorrow, and The Deepest Blue by Sarah Beth Durst. The Song of the Shattered Sands trilogy by Bradley P. Beaulieu. So we got the Twelve Kings in Sherakai, With Blood Upon the Sand, and A Veil of Spears. Book 1, 2, and 3 of the Codex Alara series by Jim Butcher. So we have Furies of Calderon, Akadem's Fury, and Cursor's Fury. And then book four, five, and six, Captain's Fury, Princeps Fury, and First Lord's Fury. A trilogy by Joe Abercrombie, Half a King, Half the World, and Half a War. And then two box sets, which I will not be removing from the box sets because they are Marcus's and he hasn't removed them yet. We have The First Law by Joe Abercrombie, so those three books here. And then The Gentleman Bastard Sequence, those three books are here. And then the bottom shelf of this one bookshelf is, as you can see, a lot of the Wheel of Time books and some other ones. So we'll start off with his dragon shell casing. This is where the dragon egg came out of. And so that sits down here on the bottom shelf. The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. The Bone Season, The Mime Order, and The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon. So we have the whole Wheel of Time series here, starting off with New Spring, a prequel novella of the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, The Shadow Rising, The Fires of Heaven, Lord of Chaos, A Crown of Swords, The Path of Daggers, Winter's Heart, Crossroads of Twilight, Knife of Dreams. And then these last three books were actually written by Brandon Sanderson because the author Robert Jordan unfortunately passed away. So these ones are The Gathering Storm, Towers of Midnight, and A Memory of Light. Moving on to the next shelf, we have, um, this is the top shelf of the adult fantasy shelf with a little bit of horror at the bottom. Uh, so with this shelf, we have a Naruto uh, headband 
from the Leaf Village. First up is the Raven Shadow trilogy. So we have Blood Song, Tower Lord, and Queen of Fire by Anthony Ryan. Then the Draconis Memoria trilogy by Anthony Ryan as well. The Waking Fire, the Legion of Flame, and the Empire of Ashes. Then two books in the Chronicle of the Unhewn Throne. So we have The Emperor's Blades and The Providence of Fire by Brian Stavelli. Malice from the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. The Lacanus Trilogy, The Shadow of What Was Lost, An Echo of Things to Come, and The Light of All That Falls by James Eilington. Seven Blades in Black by Sam Sykes. And Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. Moving down to the next shelf, we have more adult fantasy, and we have this little book uh, ornament over here that says, Books, I Need More Books. The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. Kings of the Wild and Bloody Rose by Nicholas Eames. The Inheritance Trilogy in One Full Bind-Up by N.K. Jemisin. The Broken Earth Trilogy, so we have the Fifth Season, The Obelisk Gate, and The Stone Sky by N.K. Jemisin. The Sword of Kaigen by M. L. Wang. The Name of the Wind, the UK editions by Patrick Rothfuss. So we have The Name of the Wind, The Wise Man's Fear, and The Slow Regard of Silent Things, which is a novella. Prince of Thorns and Emperor of Thorns by Mark Lawrence. Uh, the reason we have the first and third book of this edition is because I got Emperor of Thorns for Marcus for his birthday in a version that you can't get anymore. And so he bought Prince of Thorns himself. But what's annoying is they're both different heights, <laughs> and that's a little frustrating, but yeah. So he has those two books. Book of the Ancestry Trilogy by Mark Lawrence, so Red Sister, Grey Sister, and Holy Sister, and these are the UK editions. And the first book in the secondary series to that is The Girl and the Stars by Mark Lawrence. Moving down to the next shelf of the adult fantasy, we start off with this little key that we have here, which Marcus says goes with the Foundry Side um, series. The Ninth Reign and the Bitter Twins by Jen Williams. The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The Great Coat series by Sebastian de Castell. Traitor's Blade, Knight's Shadow, Saint's Blood, and Tyrant's Throne. A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. Okay, so I'm not sure how to say this, but this is the Devabad trilogy, and this is the City of Brass and the Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. The Library at Mount Char by Scott Hawkins. The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. Books one and two of the Founders trilogy, so Foundry Side and Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett. And Jade City by Fonda Lee. Moving down to the next shelf, we have more adult fantasy. So starting off, we have this little picture of a black beast, which looks like a dragon. And this is from uh, Peace and Turmoil. It came with the book. The Grey Bastards by Jonathan French. Dusk Fall by Christopher Husberg. Peace and Turmoil, The Dark Shores Book One by Elliot Brooks. Middle Game by Seanan McGuire. Darien, The Empire of Salt series by C.F. Igolden. Chronicles of the Black Company by Glenn Cook. The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Child of a Mad God, Reckoning of Fallen Gods, and Song of the Risen God by R.A. Salvatore. A Chorus of Dragons series, so The Rune of Kings, The Name of All Things, and The Memory of Souls by Jen Lyons. The Defenders of Shannara, so The Darkling Child, The High Druid's Blade, and The Sorcerer's Daughter by Terry Brooks. A Crown for Cold Silver and a Blade of Black Steel by Alex Marshall. And then the last bottom shelf where we have a mixture of adult fantasy and horror. Starting off with A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. And then Fire and Blood, a Game of Thrones novel. The Ruria Revelation series, so Theft of Swords, Rise of Empire, and Heir of Navron by Michael J. Sullivan. The Ruria Chronicles. The Crown Tower, The Rose and the Thorn, and The Death of Dolgath by Michael J. Sullivan. The Lost Gods and the Child Thief by Brom. Heart Shaped Box, Nosferatu, and Horns by Joe Hill. Mr. Mercedes and Finder's Keepers by Stephen King. The Institute, 112263, and Revival by Stephen King. 
And then Sleeping Beauties, The Bazaar of Bad Dreams, and Dr. Sleep by Stephen King. Moving up now to the top of the next shelf. This is a shelf that's mostly YA fantasy. So starting on this shelf, we have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. The Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. So A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, and A Conjuring of Light. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. Legendborn by Tracy Dion. Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Pareto. Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. Serpent and Dove and Blood and Honey by Shelby Mahurin. The Last Magician and the Devil's Thief by Lisa Maxwell. There Will Come a Darkness and As the Shadow Rises by Katie Rose Poole. Moving on to the next shelf, we have more YA fantasy with a collection of the Green Lantern's Power Rings across the bottom here. Curse Breaker Trilogy, A Curse So Dark and Lonely, A Heart So Fierce and Broken, and A Vow So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Kemmerer. A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. A Court of Frost and Starlight, and A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. The Throne of Glass series, so we have the Assassin's Blade prequel bind-up, and then we have Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, and then Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Mass. Moving down to the next shelf, we have more YA fantasy. So we have a signed book plate by Kendar Blake, which is hard to see there. There we go. And then we have a candle from the Three Dark Crowns series. And then two pins that go with the Three Dark Crown series, which my camera is not focusing on. I think that's the best it'll do. Furyborn by Claire Legrand. Anna Dressed in Blood and Girl of Nightmares by Kendar Blake. Queens of Fenburn by Kendar Blake. Novellas from the Three Dark Crowns series. Three Dark Crowns and One Dark Throne by Kendar Blake and Two Dark Reigns and Five Dark Fates by Kendar Blake. The Seven Realms series by Cinda williams Chima. So The Demon King and The Exiled Queen, The Grey Wolf Throne and The Crimson Crown, and then the Shattered Realms series by Cinda williams Chima. So Flamecaster and Shadowcaster, Stormcaster and Deathcaster. Moving down to the next shelf, we have more YA fantasy. A Winter's Promise by Christelle Dabos. Daughters of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, Strange the Dreamer, and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor, A Shadow Bright and Burning, and A Poison Dark and Drowning by Jessica Cluis, House of Dragons by Jessica Cluis, Fireborn by Rosaria Munda, Rune Binder by Alex R. Caller, The Witchland series by Susan Denard, so Truth Witch and Wind Witch, Sight Witch and Blood Witch, Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian, Spellslinger, Shadow Black, Charmcaster by Sebastian de Castell, Soulbinder, Queen Slayer and Crownbreaker by Sebastian de Castell, The Grisha Trilogy, so Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm and Rune and Rising by Leigh Bardugo, and Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. And then the bottom shelf of this bookshelf, we have more YA fantasy. The Queen's Thief series by Megan Whalen Turner. The Thief, The Queen of Atolia, The King of Atolia, A Conspiracy of Kings, and Thick as Thieves. I think this is called the Old Kingdom series. And so we have Sabriel, Lyriel, Aborson, Clariel, To Hold the Bridge, and Golden Hand by Garth Nix. The Bitter Kingdom and the Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. The Lotus War Trilogy, so Storm Dancer, Kin Slayer, and End Singer by Jay Kristoff. Ship of Smoke and Steel by Django Wexler. Snow Like Ashes, Ice Like Fire, and Frost Like Night by Sarah Rash. Traitor to the Throne and Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton. The Shadows Between Us and Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. The Darkest Powers Trilogy 
The Summoning, The Awakening, and The Reckoning by Kelly Armstrong. The Diviner's Lair of Dreams and Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray. The Gilded Wolves by Rashani Chakshi. Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And Year One by Nora Roberts. Moving on to our last full shelf, starting at the top. This one still has YA Fantasy, The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, Graceling Fire and Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore, Eon, Dragon Eye Reborn, and Iona by Allison Goodman, The Warrior Heir, The Wizard Heir, and The Dragon Heir by Cinda Williams Chima, The Enchanter Heir and The Sorcerer Heir by Cinda Williams Chima, An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir. The Cruel Prince, The Wicked King, and The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. Moving down to the next shelf, this is still YA fantasy, but a lot of the books have characters with powers in them. The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, and In the Afterlight by Alexandra Bracken. Frostblood and Fireblood by Ellie Blake. Steelheart, Firefight, and Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. The Young Elites, The Rose Society, and The Midnight Star by Mary Lou. First We Were Four by Alexandra Sirowi. Zeros, Swarm, and Nexus by Scott Westerfeld. Renegades, Arch Enemies, and Supernova by Marissa Meyer. And Legion by Brandon Sanderson. Moving down to the next shelf, this is mainly sci-fi books. So as you can see here, we have the sci-fi collection. Marcus has a little Doctor Who um, phone booth here. And then we have a little Doom Slug sticker over here to go with the Skyward series. Dune by Frank Herbert. To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. Lifelike, Deviate, and True Life by Jay Kristoff. Aurora Rising and Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Illumine, Gemina, and Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Skyward and Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. Dark Matter and Recursion by Blake Crouch. On the next shelf below that, we have a mixture of sci-fi and dystopian. So as you can see, these are the books. There's also a random rubber ducky here, and it's just here for aesthetic. <laughs> the Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. Endgame, Sky Key, and Rules of the Game by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton. Endgame, The Complete Training Diaries, and Endgame, The Complete Zero Line Chronicles. Dark Orbit by Carolyn Ives Gilman. The Traitor Baru Cormorant by Seth Dickinson. Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. The Complete Murderbot Diaries by Martha Wells. So we have All Systems Red, Artificial Condition, Rogue Protocol, and Exit Strategy. Harrow the Ninth by Tamsin Moore. One Word Kill, Limited Wish, and Dispel Illusion by Mark Lawrence. Scythe and Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire and Mocking Jay by Suzanne Collins. And then the bottom shelf of the last shelf. All of these books are just his random books, so he put them all on this shelf down here. He also has this creepy puppet that he got when he was in Thailand. So yeah, American Gods by Neil Gaiman, The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand, Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley, The Doctors Are In by Graham Burke and Robert Smith, Garrison Girl by Rachel Aaron, City of Death by Douglas Adams, The Night Circus and the Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern, Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky, And I Darken, Now I Rise, and Brightly Burn by Kirsten White, Circe by Madeline Miller, The Sudden Appearance of Hope and the End of the Day by Claire North, Dangerous Women, and this is by a whole bunch of authors, The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton, More Than This by Patrick Ness, To Best the Boys by Mary Weber, Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple, The Rook by Daniel O'Malley, 
And lastly, A Man Called Ove by Frederick Bachman. And that's it for the bookshelf tour. Thank you guys for watching along and seeing all the books that Marcus has on his shelves. Let me know if any of these books are your favorite books or let me know which one of these books you really enjoyed if you've read any of these. I will definitely be doing another bookshelf tour for all the books on my side. Uh, it probably won't be right away because filming this bookshelf tour spanned more than one day and it's a lot of work so <laughs> I'm probably gonna take a little break from doing a bookshelf tour until I get to my side later on. <laughs> I just need a break from moving books one at a time back and forth so yeah anyways if you guys want to support me I have a Patreon and a coffee page which I'll put in the description down below as well as a link to buy my bookmarks. You guys know the drill don't forget to like and subscribe hit that bell notification button so you get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And until next time, keep on reading.